Hi all, welcome back to another video. Contact management is important for any organization or business venture. Managing contact of customers, vendors, subcontractors and many other categories of people will be required to ensure the smooth operation of a business. With Odoo support, we ease the contact management operation. Odoo has a dedicated contact management module. This module comes to the rescue of the users to manage the contact details of employees, customers or other groups. Odoo contact module can be integrated with various other modules so that every business and organization can make use of the contact support system. Now, let's see how to create a contact inside the contact module. For that, first let's open the contacts module. Now, these are the contacts which are already there. So, we'll create a new one. Clicking on create, you can create either an individual or a company. So, let's see how to create an individual. Okay, so we'll give the name as Brandon Free. Okay, and also choose the company to which this person belongs to, Gemini Furniture. As I chose the company, that company's details have come. Okay, and if you want, you can give the citizen identification. So I've given a number. You can set the job position here. I'm setting as consultant the phone number mobile number email website and title that is what are you going to address this person as like doctor madam miss mr and all so we'll give mr and the language and also we have the tags here okay these are for tags are basically for identification and all so easy identification we use tags and for categorizing them and all we use tags so from here, we can choose a tag. He's an employee. So, I'll give employees. Um, maybe vendor. Anything can be given. And if you come to this tab, which is the contacts and address tab, here you have an add button. That is, if you want to add address related to this user or this con uh, contact, you can add it from here. So, you can see, you can add invoice address of this person, delivery address, private address, other address or any follow-up addresses and all. So currently it's an other address. We'll add an address like Jerry and that person's email, phone number and all can be given here. Address has already come here because this is of a particular company, right? So we are just saving and closing it. An address is added. A contact is added. If you add a delivery address, if I want to add a delivery address, I'll give same Jerry itself. Save and close. So this is the delivery address. Okay, so if I want to add the invoice address, okay, again, Jerry, save and close. So this will be the invoice address. So similarly, you can add any kind of address which is given here like contact, invoice, delivery, private, other address and follow-up addresses. And if you go to the sales and purchase tab, now here you have the details about the sales, purchase, point of sale, fiscal information and miscellaneous information. Now, under the sales, you can choose the sales person and payment term. You can set a payment term for this uh, contact or you can do that directly from the sale order itself while this person creating a sale order. So, payment terms can be chosen from here and you can see the parent company, price list managed by the parent company. If you just click on that, you will be di uh, directed okay, to the Gemini furniture. You can see Gemini furniture. Okay, let's go back because this person belongs to this company, right? We'll go back to Brandon Freeman. Here we have the contact code. Next, we have the point of sale. Now, inside the point of sale, if this particular contact has any barcode, you can specify that. Okay, and come to the other side here, we have purchase. Here also, while purchasing, you can set a payment term for this person. Okay, I'm not setting any and you have the 1099 box which is journal items of this vendor will be summoned in the selected box. So you can select any from here. You have the payment method here. Okay, payment method. You can choose it from here like manual checks anything and you have the supplier currency. 
what kind of currency is the supplier currency that can be chosen from here now you have the fiscal information what is fiscal information it's regarding the taxes and all tax calculation and all so that fiscal position can be chosen from here okay now we have the miscellaneous uh, section where you have to give a reference the company website website tags and sla policies so everything can be given under the miscellaneous now we have the accounting here inside the accounting also you can see the all accounting related to the parent company by just clicking on the parent company here okay just click there here you can see the all accounting details of gemini furniture going back you have the internal notes here if you have any messages like warning messages can be set from here for this contact while choosing this contact that warning message will pop up and if you want any internal notes you can give it from here okay and you have the partner assignment so under partner assignment you have partner review partner activation and geolocation now this is the location nothing much compute based on the address based on this address that will be computed uh, then we have the partner activation where you can choose the partner level like where what level is the partner gold silver or bronze yeah, choosing silver you can choose the commission plans so currently there are no commission plans otherwise you can just choose it from the drop down now you have the activation uh, what kind of activation you can choose it from here like fully operational ramp up first contact anything and here you can see the level weight okay, you can choose the level weight from here also now next the partner review you have the latest partner review that date can be given next partner review date can be given also the partnership date can be given from here okay and finally we have the membership where you can add or just check the free member okay now current membership status is free member he is currently a free member you can add the joining date membership date and all here and if if not you can add an associate member for this person and if you want you can buy membership okay so if uh, like in future if he uh, schedules any activities for this contact and all those meetings opportunities sales then uh, subscription kind of corresponding to this contact purchases deliveries invoices everything can be seen on these smart tabs given here okay so this is how you create a contact in the contacts module of Odoo. i hope contact creation is clear for you all that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.